Welcome back to our channel as we celebrate life once again. Recently, we've lost some remarkable talents. In this video, we'll pay tribute to American celebrities and other notable figures from around the world who have recently passed away. Before we begin, please take a moment to like this video, it means so much to us. Thank you. Now, let's dive in. Quincy Jones, the legendary music producer who reshaped modern music, has passed away at 91. Known for his groundbreaking work across seven decades, Jones produced Michael Jackson's thriller and the global anthem We Are the World, collaborating with top artists. Beginning in jazz, he worked with icons like Ray Charles and Frank Sinatra, then became a prominent film composer with seven Oscar nominations. His work extended into TV, launching The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and impacting film with The Color Purple. Beyond music, he supported causes like music education. Quincy leaves an enduring legacy that transformed music, television, and film, inspiring generations. Remembering Iris Apfel, a century of iconic style and spirit. Iris Apfel, the legendary fashion icon known for her bold style and oversized black glasses, has passed away peacefully at her Palm Beach home. Born in Queens in 1921, Iris's journey in fashion began early, eventually leading her to co-found the textile firm Old World Weavers with her husband Carl. Their unique fabrics graced clients from Estee Lauder to the White House. In 2005, her accessories became a hit exhibit at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, elevating her to global icon status. Even in her 90s, she continued to work in fashion, launching a makeup line, designing for the home shopping network, and signing with IMG models. Known for her unique mix of high and low fashion, Iris championed individuality, famously saying, only one trip, might as well live it up. Casey Benjamin, the pioneering saxophonist, vocalist, and keyboardist known for his innovative style, has passed away at 45. His manager confirmed his death, though the cause remains unknown following surgery recovery. Born in Brooklyn and raised in Queens, Benjamin brought a unique, rich tone to the saxophone, often using electronic effects and vocoder-enhanced vocals. He was a key figure in the Robert Glasper experiment, contributing a defining sound that spanned jazz, hip-hop, and beyond, collaborating with artists like Kendrick Lamar and Beyoncé. Benjamin's groundbreaking work earned him a Grammy with the experiment for Black Radio in 2012. Known for creating his own musical lane, he leaves a lasting legacy and is survived by his partner Whitley Davis, his parents, and siblings. Alan Rakins, beloved for his roles on L.A. Law and Dharma and Greg, has passed away at 82 in Los Angeles due to heart failure. Known for his memorable characters, a no-nonsense lawyer and a quirky hippie dad, Rakins became a familiar face to millions. His breakout role as pompous lawyer Douglas Brackman Jr. on L.A. Law earned him an Emmy nomination in 1988, while his portrayal of Larry Finkelstein, Dharma's eccentric father in Dharma and Greg, showcased his humor and warmth. Born in Cambridge, Massachusetts, Rakins left Wharton to pursue acting, moving from Broadway to television and eventually writing scripts before returning to acting. Remembered for his unique charm and depth, Rakins left an unforgettable mark on television. Terry Garr, the beloved actress known for roles in Young Frankenstein and Tootsie, has passed away at 79. Celebrated for her humor and charm, Garr became a Hollywood favorite in the 1970s and 80s. Despite being diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in the 1980s, she continued acting until her retirement in 2011. Born in 1944, Gar grew up in North Hollywood, training as a ballet dancer before turning to acting. Her big break came with The Conversation, 1974, leading to her iconic role as Inga in Young Frankenstein. She earned an Academy Award nomination for her role in Tootsie, 1982, and starred in other classics like Mr. Mom. Known for her resilience and wit, Gar's legacy lives on through her roles that brought warmth, laughter, and inspiration to audiences. Barbara Rush, the beloved actress known for her elegance and versatility, has passed away at 97. A star of the 1950s and 60s, 
Rush worked with legends like Frank Sinatra and Paul Newman and later transitioned successfully to television. Discovered in a Pasadena Playhouse production, she was signed by Paramount in 1950 and went on to build a remarkable film career with roles in Captain Lightfoot and Magnificent Obsession. Her performance in It Came From Outer Space won her a Golden Globe. Embracing roles on TV as she aged, she appeared in numerous shows, bringing charm and passion to every role. Born in Denver, raised in Santa Barbara, and married to actor Jeffrey Hunter and publicist Warren Cowan, Rush continued acting on stage later in life, proving her enduring talent. She leaves a legacy as a graceful performer who bridged Hollywood's golden age with television and theater. Steve Lawrence, the legendary singer and half of the iconic duo with his wife, Adie Gorm, has passed away at 88. Known for his smooth vocals and charm, Lawrence became a beloved figure in American music, capturing hearts in the 1950s and 60s. Born Sidney Leibovitz in Brooklyn, he rose to fame on The Tonight Show with Steve Allen. As Steve and Aidy, he and Gorm became household names, performing timeless hits, winning Grammys, and captivating audiences with their chemistry. Lawrence also enjoyed solo success, scoring a number one hit with Go Away Little Girl in 1962 and earning a Tony nomination for What Makes Sammy Run. He later appeared in films like The Blues Brothers and TV shows such as The Nanny and Two and a Half Men. Together, he and Gorm celebrated American music through Emmy-winning specials, cementing their legacy. Remembered for his humor and warmth, Lawrence leaves behind a timeless legacy of melody and joy. Paul Morrissey, a key figure in New York's underground cinema and close collaborator of Andy Warhol, has passed away at 86. Known for reshaping indie film in the 1960s and 70s, Morrissey's work with Warhol introduced raw, authentic storytelling that turned unconventional performers into icons. Joining Warhol in 1965, Morrissey helped create films like Flesh, Trash, and Heat, showcasing personalities like Joe D'Alessandro and Jackie Curtis, and setting a new standard in underground cinema. He also collaborated with The Velvet Underground and directed cult classics Flesh for Frankenstein and Blood for Dracula. Over time, Morrissey distanced himself from Warhol, claiming his own creative vision was the true force behind their projects. Born in Manhattan and raised in Yonkers, he launched his film career with 16mm shorts inspired by his Catholic roots. Morrissey's legacy endures as a trailblazer in indie cinema, capturing a uniquely authentic era of expression. He is survived by his brother Kenneth and eight nieces and nephews. Phil Lesh, the visionary bassist who helped shape the Grateful Dead's iconic sound, has passed away at 84. Known for his experimental style, Lesh brought a unique, lead-like approach to bass that became essential to the band's identity. Born in Berkeley, California, he began with classical training in viola and trumpet before meeting Jerry Garcia and joining what would become the Grateful Dead. Despite being new to bass, Lesha's deep musical knowledge allowed him to redefine its role, drawing from Bach's counterpoint and creating complex, improvisational lines. His influence shone on albums like Anthem of the Sun, where he pioneered surreal sound layering. After the Grateful Dead disbanded in 1995, Lesh continued their legacy with Phil Lesh and Friends and Open Terrapin Crossroads, a venue promoting collaboration and featuring performances by his sons. Following a liver transplant, he advocated for organ donation and later overcame prostate and bladder cancer. Known for his warmth and creativity, Lesh's legacy in rock and improvisational music endures, inspiring generations of fans and musicians. Eric Carmen, the legendary singer of classics like All By Myself and former frontman of the Raspberries, has passed away at 74. Known for his unforgettable voice and heartfelt lyrics, Carmen's legacy has touched fans worldwide. Born in Cleveland, he gained fame in the 1970s with the Raspberries, whose hits like Go All The Way brought a fresh, Beatles-inspired sound to American rock. After the band disbanded in 1975, Carmen's solo career soared with timeless songs like All By Myself and Hungry Eyes from Dirty Dancing. He also co-wrote Almost Paradise for Footloose, showcasing his songwriting talent. With 13 charting songs and multiple top 10 hits, 
Carmen briefly reunited with the Raspberries in 2004, rekindling their legacy. His music, filled with timeless melodies and raw emotion, leaves an enduring mark on generations of listeners. Malachi McCourt, the Irish-American actor, author, and storyteller best known as Kevin the Bartender on Ryan's Hope, has passed away at 92. A beloved figure in New York's Irish community, McCourt was celebrated for his wit, larger-than-life presence, and captivating stories. Born in Brooklyn and raised in Limerick, Ireland, his early life of hardship was later recounted by his brother Frank in Angela's Ashes. McCourt became a key figure in New York's Irish scene, opening Malachi's pub and becoming known for his storytelling. His memoirs A Monk Swimming and Singing My Hymn Song reflect his resilient journey. McCourt also acted in Ryan's Hope, All My Children, The Molly Maguires, and The Devil's Own, and appeared in Oz and Tales of the Unexpected. In 2006, he ran for governor of New York as a Green Party candidate. His legacy lives on through his family, his storytelling, and his impact on Irish-American culture. He is survived by his wife, children, grandchildren, and great-grandson. Jack Jones, the Grammy-winning singer known for hits like Lollipops and Roses, Wives and Lovers, and the Love Boat theme, has passed away at 86. With his smooth voice and charismatic style, Jones became a defining figure in easy listening music over a career that spanned seven decades. Born into a Hollywood family, he followed in the footsteps of his father, tenor Alan Jones, and actress mother Irene Hervey. Jones first rose to fame in 1959 with Lollipops and Roses, winning his first Grammy, and later scored another with Wives and Lovers in 1964. His rendition of The Impossible Dream and the Love Boat theme became iconic, making him a household name. A beloved Las Vegas headliner, Jones released over 50 albums, including tributes to Tony Bennett, and his music appeared in soundtracks like Good Morning Vietnam and Goodfellas. Known for his deep connection with audiences, Jones's heartfelt performances and timeless music leave an enduring legacy. He is survived by his wife, daughters, stepdaughters, and grandchildren. Ellen DeGeneres, born on January 26, 1958, in Metairie, Louisiana, rose from a modest upbringing to become one of the most influential figures in entertainment. Growing up with her mother Betty, a speech therapist, and her father Elliot, an insurance agent, Ellen faced the challenges of a single-parent household after her parents' divorce. She began her career in comedy after leaving the University of New Orleans, gaining attention for her observational humor and light-hearted style. Ellen's big break came in 1986 when she appeared on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, leading to a successful career in TV and film, including her groundbreaking sitcom Ellen, 1994-1998, where her character came out as gay in 1997, making a significant cultural impact. Despite facing backlash and a temporary career setback, Ellen's resilience led her to a successful return with The Ellen DeGeneres Show in 2003, which became a daytime hit known for its positivity, humor, and generosity. Throughout her career, Ellen faced personal struggles, including mental health challenges and the toll of daily show demands, leading her to focus on wellness. She also navigated personal losses, including the tragic death of her ex-girlfriend and Hetchy. In 2020, The Ellen DeGeneres Show came under scrutiny for workplace allegations, leading to an apology and a change in staff, but the show ultimately ended in 2022 after its 19th season. Today, Ellen is focusing on personal projects and philanthropy, including animal rights and business ventures like her lifestyle brand, ED. With her wife, Portia de Rossi, she enjoys a quieter life in California, remaining an advocate for kindness and a beloved figure in entertainment. Ellen's legacy continues to inspire through her authenticity, generosity, and enduring humor. Willie Nelson, born on April 29, 1933, in Abbott, Texas, is a legendary figure in country music known for his unique voice and pivotal role in shaping the genre. Raised by his grandparents, he developed an early love for music, learning guitar and singing in church choirs. By the late 1950s, he was writing songs in Nashville but struggled with the commercial country scene. In the 1970s, 
he returned to Texas and helped launch the Outlaw Country Movement, with his 1975 album Red Headed Stranger propelling him to superstardom. Nelson faced health challenges, including respiratory issues from years of smoking, but credits cannabis for helping him quit cigarettes. He remains active in music and advocacy, particularly through Farm Aid and his cannabis brand, Willie's Reserve. Despite personal losses, including the death of his son Billy in 1991, his music continues to resonate with themes of resilience and reflection. In his 90s, Nelson still records new music, writes, and lives on his Texas ranch, embodying a life of authenticity and passion. His legacy as a musician and activist endures in American culture.